I'm Russell Ashton and I'm a senior geologist with Goliath Resources at the Gold Digger property and we are about to go look at some uh, new core that's been intersected from the Sherbet zone. So we have different holes here laid out from uh, areas we've intersected the uh, Sherbet zone proper over the last uh, few months of drilling and we're going to be taking you guys through a couple of these different holes. Uh, first we're going to be starting out at pad one. So pad one is about a 1.2 kilometer step out from the Sherbet zone and we have core with very classic textures of galena, sphalerite, and pyrotite within this uh, sheared quartz breccia vein. We're going to then now look at some core from pad 8. So pad 8 right here is about a 600 meter step out. And again, we have very similar textures and mineralization. Very classic sherbet here. Next piece of core we'll look at is from Midwest. Midwest has, again, all the classic uh, mineralization textures, assemblages, and this one here comes from about a 300 meter step out from the Sherbet. The next one we'll look at is pad 11. So pad 11 is down the, on the south slope. Uh, this is about a 1.3 kilometer step out uh, from uh, the Sherbet zone, as well as uh, about a 750 meter step out uh, down from uh, pad one. Nice shearing with all the proper assemblages, Galena, Sphalerite, and we have the Puritite in there as well. We're going to move on to the South Cliff step out. We drilled this area last year, but we then focused on drilling down the southern part. This one had very nice, large uh, grains of galena in there, which you can see reflecting, as well as the puritite. And the sphalerite is intermingled in between. So this one here is about a 300 meter step out from off the ridge there. We'll now look at uh, pad 17. So 17 came almost right from where the discovery outcrop was and we drilled into very similar mineralization. They're all classic Sherbet's style mineralization with the Galena, Puritite. This one here actually had a bit more calcopyrite in some areas as well. So these six pieces of core that we've looked at encompass uh, this area that is the Sherbet's zone proper. So we had pad one, which is out to the west, down to pad 11, which is on the southwest on the south slope of Sherbet Ridge. And the rest are within the outcropping of the Sherbet zone that goes up to the northwest and on the north face. And this area is 1.4 square kilometers, which is the Sherbet zone proper. So all 64 holes that we have drilled within the Sherbet zone proper have hit this classic Sherbet zone mineralization that has the Galena, Puritite, and Sphalerite. Uh, this has brought the team quite a bit of excitement over the last months as well as last year because it's showing the large-scale continuity of the system. We're going to now look at some uh, other surprises that 2022 has brought for us out in the extension zone. So drilling that we did over in the extensional zone uh, included stuff from pad A. So pad A is on the east side of the northeast fault away from the Sherbet zone proper. However, the surprises that we got from this pad were Sherbet Zone mineralization. We have the Galena, Sphalerite, and Puritite within the sheared quartz uh, vein. And we intercepted this within the sediments, but also below in the volcanics. Not only were we finding those on the east side of the Northeast Fault, but drilling across the fault we found sherbet style mineralization in the volcanics below the sherbet zone proper. Continued drilling within the 2022 season will uh, include holes off of the west of northeast fault pad, which are going to test the uh, sherbet zone mineralization within the volcanics, as well as over at G pad, which is going to do the same um, to the east of A pad. So at this point, the Sherbet zone proper still remains open to the north, west, and south. And in the extension zone, it remains open out towards the east. 
Uh, we're quite excited about the uh, remaining weeks of the 2022 field program and we're looking forward to the assay results.